cinematic image to me is... I'm not going to tell you precisely what it is. It's a combination, basically, of a lot of factors. The first thing is a desire. So that doesn't stick to reality at all. So it's, a, it's a, all sorts of angles of approach. It is what you say it is. I don't know. There isn't any answer. And that's, that's what makes a cinematic image. What desire do you have to create this image, OK? It's what do you have in your mind, what, what your imagination creates before arriving on a set. As an audience, you're sitting in the cinema, and the story, the film moves you. For me, it's a structure of all the parameters and the way you control it, and starting with the lens. I can't imagine uh, arriving on a project without having decided about the lens. If I don't know which lens I'm going to use, which prime lens I'm going to use, I will be terribly lost. <laughs> but I think that what's interesting, and again in the past four or five years, is that the technology that people get to use on TV and to get to use in feature films is actually exactly the same stuff. So the same cameras, the same, so the same sensor size, the same lenses, all of those things are now available, which I think is brilliant. Well, I don't think there is a cinematic look. I mean, I mean you just have to look at the range of films that one can see out there and you know especially now on shot on so many different cameras you know some some are even shot on on iPhones or you know uh, or on a Lexus 65. It is the story for sure 80% of the film is the story but the way it's told is what tops it up you know it can be more effective if, if, if it's more um, if it's shot uh, the right way. I would say that's very much dependent on what's going on in the shot. You know, the frame, you're capturing the acting. Uh, um, what's been staged? You're in there with the director, looking at it, analysing how it's going to be covered, how it's going to be photographed, whether one um, angle is enough to capture it, either static or with the camera moving. Are you going to shoot the scene in a number of cuts? And that's really it. That is really it. What makes it cinematic is, is when you, the choices you make click together well with the story. There is an argument to say it is what, it is what you say it is. It is how you present it. I'm not sure. I think it's just the sort of sensibility, really. How you, you decide you want to tell a story and you, you get that story in the, in the most immediate way that you can it's yeah i think i think it's what you say it is really but in a way it's where you put the camera that's very important and that's that's what makes a cinematic image is where you place that camera a cinematic image to me is something that's not contrived something that is subtle and something that's been thought through it's not just a close-up and it's not just a closer closer uh -huh. I would say a cinematic look is, um, is a look that, that, that doesn't stick to reality um, but doesn't go further, that you don't notice more than the story or the script. It, it's a sculpted image uh, with, with deep blacks and a, and a high contrast and on which you can find, again, quite a big gap between the the warm light and, 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 and the cool light, so that doesn't stick to reality at all, which is still justified according to the script. It's a combination, basically, of a lot of factors. It can be the time of day, it can come from the script. If you're shooting a feature, it will definitely, it should definitely come from the script. If you're shooting a commercial, it's all about the style, it's all about the look. It comes from, certainly comes from the lenses. Uh, the lenses basically are the, the brushes. Uh, the lights are also part of the uh, part of the uh, style as well. I think for me, lighting is probably everything. Lighting is more important than probably almost anything else um, because you can do so much with it. And finally, the style comes from camera movement, composition, um, set design, backgrounds, wardrobe, what the actor is wearing. Sometimes I think we're not so much in the film business, we're really in the fashion and style business, aren't we? Creating a mood, trying to convey an emotion.
I, I think I have no answer to that because the other thing when you began to work on a movie is to find your place in the director's brain. And I think the, if the directors are, have cinematic idea, for technicians it's not a problem to make cinematic images. There's as many definitions as directors. Each, each good director is a new cinematic direction. It's, it's taking backgrounds into relation, it's taking a foreground into relation, and it's taking a subject within that picture, encompassing everything. Where the light's kicking off, what can I shoot through, how can I slide off, and what the background's doing, what the focal length is doing with the background lights. I don't know. You know what? I've never knew that. Uh, I, I, I read it all the time in, uh, on a commercial pitch and they say we wanted to make it look cinematic and uh, I wanted to ask the same question. I don't know. There isn't any answer. I think you should, uh, um, one should do the story how they see it in the best way and uh, give it the space. And sometimes, a lot of times, I'm, I watch films and I think, shouldn't have put it there, you shouldn't have done it from there, it doesn't work. And they've missed, they've missed the very essence of cin cinema, what the scene requires, what does this scene require, what's, what's the weight of the scene, what, what's the aspects of the scene that are really important here, like who's from whose point of view, from whose perspective. Where is the acting here? You know, who is the story and everything? I really, really think about it with the director. All the parameters with the workflow are really, really important. But for me, it's a kind of creating the team, the workflow team around the project. And uh, the people who are going to be um, uh, around the camera, and the way they do around in the post-production are very important for me. And I'm really, uh, I really care about this meeting them before uh, they know what the director has in his mind and the structure of the image the, uh, which is specially dedicated for this film. Each film has his own history so you can't imagine a film without having something in your mind which gives you the feeling of uh, the way you're going to have to choose the lens, you're going to choose the camera, you choose the style of uh, grading. So it's a lot of anticipation but that's what I like. Lots of TV show represents an influence for, for the features, right? Uh, and I guess that it's because TV shows has, they have become cinematic, and, um, and that's the way production uh, 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 directors, DPs, production designers, they, they do approach a TV show as if they were uh, starting a, a, a feature. You know, it's pretty much the same way of, uh, it's, it's the same approach and the same, the same goal. Lots of really well-known DPs have started doing TV, so they might do film and they do TV. So what's the difference between those two things? I guess what it comes down to is, is ultimately is a grammar and the approach to doing film and doing a film script maybe that's different to a TV script. TV stuff is often done in, in bigger parts, so there's more stuff. Uh, there's more... It's more of a stretched out thing, so the, maybe the stories are more complicated. And then there's, a, there's this idea of um, there's more talking, so there's more story to cover, so the coverage is very different. And, and the way that people like the, the TV is approached is there's lots of angles, and I think maybe something that's more filmic is a lot more stripped down, and the way that people approach it is more singular. It doesn't need to cap keep someone's interest because largely they've gone to the cinema, they've chosen to go and see it. I like to watch a scene, perhaps a few times, with a director, if it's possible, run it over and over. Run it, run it again, run it again. Let's watch it from over here. Let's watch it from over there. Will it work as one? Does it need a number of cuts? And then start shooting it, because so many people, they pile in and they start shooting, and then halfway through, they're lost. We're lost in this coverage, coverage, I would call it. It's the opposite of cinematic image, coverage. Why not go handheld, get it on the steady cam, wave it about, and uh, see whether we can get it like that. Rather than 
absolutely be choosing the best that there is in this scene to draw out visually. Cinematography can be stunning, absolutely stunning, but it stands apart. Have you felt that? In a, you're watching a movie, you say, this is so beautiful, but it takes you out of the film, you know? Sometimes it's dairy, but sometimes you should make a, a crappy picture, bad looking images, because they are right for the scene, you know? We, uh, should we be running after awards? Or should we be running after the right look for the right film, you know? And the right look for the right film is not necessarily beautiful. So what makes it cinematic is that people have found the right look for that particular story.